If you were expecting uh, cataclysmic news after seeing the title of this video, you might be uh, <laughs> disappointed. What is happening right now is, you know, it's serious, but it's not, it's not dangerous or, I mean... So what is happening right now, let me, let me start this video. Uh, it's only a minute and 18 seconds long and then I will respond. So let's see what's happening. So there's a fire truck, policeman. So what you're seeing right there is uh, the very old nuclear power reactor. It's, uh, it's a General Electric boiling water reactor. It's only 58 mega megawatts. It's a tiny, it's a tiny one. And it has been decommissioned 23, or it has been uh, taken offline 23 years ago. And it has been defueled um, about 14 years ago. So yeah, I, I really like this thing. It's tiny. They are still waiting to take it apart and uh, because they're going to greenfield the area, which basically means they're going to take out all the guts of the plant. They're going to remove the, the entire foundation of the plant. And then they will leave it a greenfield. So basically what you're going to get is grass afterwards, you know, once, it's, uh, once it has been uh, demolished. But uh, right now it's burning or it has been burning. So right here you can see firemen uh, putting out the fire. Now the great thing is this, so this, this is an inactive nuclear power plant so uh, many people in on Twitter and in the on the internet are saying well there's a nuclear power plant that's uh, on fire in the Netherlands and um, technically that's correct but if you look at it more closely basically it isn't a nuclear power plant anymore because there's no fuel and there's no activity whatsoever. The whole thing has been not only boarded up, but they basically, um, they basically put, put rocks, uh, a big concrete bricks and all the entrances save one. You can still go in there, but it's all boarded up. Basically there's no activity there anymore, but you know, sometimes some, uh, maintenance has to be done. And it's likely that they were that they were doing maintenance on the roof. And uh, and uh, and what they were doing was they were they were putting on new tar onto the roof, and uh, somebody forgot one of their propane tanks. And it's been quite warm the last few days, so you know something caught fire, or whether the propane tank was leaking, or I don't know what was was wrong, but something uh, something caught on fire. So right now you can see uh, from the images that the uh, the fire has been put out, and uh, basically the fire department has said, well, there's no real risk of radioactive leaks and such. Obviously, because it was only the roof that was burning and this power plant already has a containment structure so uh it's impossible for the con containment structure to you know catch fire under those conditions those specific conditions so here you can see construction began in 1963 it was commissioned in 1969 and uh, it decommissioned in 1997 so it's only it was only a 58 megawatt reactor uh, taken offline seven prematurely seven years. So yeah, uh, here's some more pictures of the of the nuclear power plant. But in any case, nothing nothing really bad has happened. I can't imagine that some uh, some groups are going to run with it and make something horrible about it. You know, Greenpeace or Wise or. I don't know whoever is out there, but it's it's possible that they say, well, see, this this plant caught on fire, and it's it was it's a nuclear plant, and there's still some radioactive trace elements in the building, even though it's in containment and probably even within the reactor pressure vessel, and perhaps some of the piping, I don't know, but there was there was no chance, 
no chance that the fire would ever reach those components. So, uh, yeah. Um, the only thing that I, uh, that I think is a bummer is that they want to actually completely tear down. What I would like to see is uh, just a decommissioning of the, uh, the nuclear bits. You know, cut a hole in the containment, get all the nuclear bits out, the reactor, the piping, you know, all the stuff that came into, into contact with radioactivity during operation. And just put, just wheel in some mock stuff in there and use it as a museum and, and, and you know, leave the hole in the containment as it is and, I don't know, put, put perhaps some, some glass facade on it so that people can see how thick the containment is and how it works, what the structure of it is. And I, I think that's a, that's a, that's a better uh idea for this nuclear reactor than just turning it into a greenfield uh acting as if it never existed so yeah that's it uh i'm fine you know <laughs> i don't need to use my iodine pills and uh that's it thank you all for watching have a nice day bye bye